You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Ahmed with Popcorn here, and I'm joined by Adam Brooks. Nice Adam, how are you doing? Yeah, good to see yeah, you again, nice mate. Nice to see you. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, it's great to be here. Yeah. Great to be back. Um, shocked at the opponent that I've got, but nicely shocked, you know, and yeah. I, I'm ready for business. Yeah, it's quite a, quite a, a big fight for you. I yeah, think your biggest, yeah, yeah. really your biggest fight. Well, when Mams sort of rung me, I, was, I thought he was winding me up. Yeah. But um, it's fantastic. Look, I always said I'll fight anyone. And I think that's maybe what's got me this fight, is that, that they need tests for these fighters. And uh, they know I'm going to come and bring, bring the fight to the party. And uh, I'm looking for the upset. Yeah. Now, when I was walking in, you were sitting right there. And I overheard you. I think you said you, you sparred Anthony Yard. Yeah, yeah, Did yeah. Did you actually? So Anthony Yard uh, and Joel Kadura come to my gym to spar. Yeah. So uh, it was a couple of weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. Uh, my trainer, who, who spars with him as well, said, look, can, can he jump in? He's got a fight coming in. They, they, they're, they're nice as pie. And they said, yeah. And uh, the last three weeks, I've sparred both of them and Anthony Yard. And look, they're, they're keeping me honest. They're, they're giving me tips. And, you know, I'm learning. I'm learning from them. That's quite, that's quite good. I mean, I couldn't imagine a better sparring partner than them. Anthony Yard is fantastic. I mean, for such a big guy, I can't believe the power yeah. on him. He's so fast and so intelligent. And, um, you know, if 0.1% if of that talent rubs off on me over the next few weeks sparring, then I'm a better fighter for it. Yeah. You know, um, I just thank these guys for, for giving me the time of day. It's brilliant. So how, how does Anthony help you with Kenny? It's the speed, really. It's the speed. Because one thing Kenny's got, he's got a very fast snap jab. Um, and it's just learning to sort of counter and, and read that. And, and that's what we've been doing. You know, I've got to get past that jab. Otherwise, I'm not going to get near him. Yeah. And uh, as I say, if he leaves his chin up in the air or, or open, I'm going to hit it. Yeah. And it's whether or not his legs can take that. The, the last two couldn't. Have you been developing your power then? I've always got power. You know, uh, I say it again, if this was outside the ring, it'd last 10 seconds with me. But it's in the ring. He's got the experience, he's got the youth, and um, he's got a height difference, the reach. He's probably got everything apart from the aggression and spite that I've got. So, you know, I'm, I'm ready and uh, I'm, I'm looking for that big upset. Yeah, that is true. Kenny has been, um, you know, sometimes he does struggle with you know, more game opponents. Yeah. I think so. You think you're going to do that? Well, look, I, I think look, I, I don't want this to be a messy fight, yeah. particularly. Like I, I want to win and I, I will win in my mind but I also understand that this is entertainment and I would hate to even win and everyone go oh that was so boring that was uh, you know we just spoiled him I'm coming to put on a show Mams has put me on here because he knows from that bell I'm going to start swinging and um, it's a great story old, old guy 44 against a 27 year old you know I, I'm hopefully doing it for everyone that's sat on their sofa at home thinking it's too late yeah, it's quite good. But to speak, touching on what you said earlier, you, you said you could want to watch out for that jab. Yeah. So do you think that's his best shot? I would say he's got one of the best jabs in influence of crossover boxing. He seems to think he hit, he's got the best. What they don't know about me, because I, I didn't really throw the jab that much against Rhino, I've got a long jab, I've got a fast jab, and I've got an awkward jab. And I think they're just about to see that I can match his jab. So let's see. It's going to be like a joust, in, a joust off for a little bit, I think. We'll see. Yeah. You know what, I personally think that Kenny's best shot is the left hook. Right. Because that's the shot that dropped DK. It's a shot that dropped Winderson. Yeah. And he seems to have a very powerful left hook. Yeah, so, so have you, have you as well? <laughs> I, I, I caught uh, Rhino with a left hook a couple of times. It's one of my favourite shots. But we're not going to give away. I, I, don't, I don't need to work on my left hook because it's something that comes naturally for me. Um, but look, if, if he thinks I've got to watch out for his left hook, he... He better hope that I don't hit him at the same time on mine. Yeah. We could have a, a double knockout. <laughs> that would be, be entertaining for Misfits. That would be entertaining, but... Yeah, you, you seem quite varied because you're... Like, I think you knocked a rhino out with the yeah. uppercut as well, yeah. so... And, and uh, in the, the charity bout I had, I, I knocked the guy out with a straight right. right. So, I think they're, they're focusing on my right hand, but we've got other shots and we've got, we've got a game plan. And let them focus on the things they think I'm going to do because it's not what's going to happen in a fight. And is it only those two fights you've had? I had two fights in my 20s after just six months of training. And they were unlicensed fights against people a lot better than me. And it didn't go very well. And 
uh, I gave up after basically nine months of boxing um, and I didn't get a win. So like, I, I take this that my, my boxing journey started when I was 41. You know? So what inspired you to restart boxing? So my, I've got a young teenage boy, took him down the local gym. Watching him every week was great. Uh, the trainers uh, persuaded me to get in. Uh, I was getting put down a lot and uh, I decided to take it seriously, sort of have coaching every week and here we are, you know. So my boxing journey did start a couple of years ago and I've got a great team and, and they're, they're teaching me fundamentals of actually boxing. I've always been able to fight, yeah. but boxing, boxing is different to fighting. Uh, that's good, uh, you know the distinction and you, you seem to take it seriously. But I want to ask you, after Kenny, what is next? Because I, I, I believe I did hear you mention Slim's name. Look, I'm not here for a long time because of my age. Mams knows that. I might have three or four fights, maybe five if I'm lucky. So when I beat Kenny, you know, I, I want Salt Pappy, I want Slim, I want the big names. Um, and hopefully I put on a show uh, against Kenny where, where that's just, they've got to make it happen. Mams knows I'll fight anyone. So, uh, you know, my last few fights, I want to fight the big names. I'm not here for, you know, it's not here for just fun. I'm here to make a statement. So you're now a, a prize fighter? Yeah, like, why not? Why not? Yeah. You know? My wife doesn't particularly like it, but if I get another pri uh, prime bonus, I think she'd like it a, a little bit more again. Because we, we went on holiday with the last oh, one. Nice. So it was nice, yeah. you know. So I think maybe if you win your fight with Kenny, and then Salt Papi beats uh, Amadeus, yeah. you and him could face off Look, at the end. Coach Solomon said in a Twitter space the other day, that uh, why not? Why, why, why Salt Pappy, you know, against Adam would be a, a good fight as long as I won. Who knows? Look, again, I'll fight anyone. It, uh, it, but I want to fight big names. Yeah. You know? I'd like to see that. I think you, you've got the warrior inside of you. Yeah, I've got a warrior. And they could put me against KSI. And look, I, I know there's a golfing class, but you'd still see me turn up. You'd still see me give it my all. I don't care. I like fighting. So that's, you know, that's where we are. Yeah, I think that, that is what the Misfits fans want. Yeah. Now, I just I want to turn back to your, I'll call it content. Yeah. Your sort of politics yeah. discussions. Yeah. What, what's going on with that? Well, look, so I'm, I'm known for my Twitter or X uh, profile, really. I've got uh, 310,000 followers, I think, on there. I'm on GB News weekly, sometimes twice a week. Um, like I'm known for my politics and my, my opinions on, on news of the day. Why not? You know, uh, maybe I, I, I'm an influencer from a different way of life than the others. Yeah, that's so a good thing. It's good to vary it up. And I'm, I'm really honoured that MAMS sort of has recognised that, that it's good to have different markets, good to have different people from all walks of life. Mm -hmm. You know, I get that, oh, who's this guy? Who's this guy? Just because you don't follow me on Twitter or yeah. it doesn't mean that I'm not somebody exactly. in the scene. So look, I'm here to get my name out there and hopefully the Misfits crowd take to me again. Uh, I'll give it my all and uh, I think it's going to be a good fight. Yeah. Could you tell me uh, something, uh, an interesting uh, political opinion of yours? Something an interesting, uh, no, I, I, no, I, I don't <laughs> want to go into politics because... That's politics, your thing. Politics can, can divide people. There's, there's a lot of things that people will, will agree with me on. And then there's things that they won't agree with me on. And, you know, it, some days, some people can be very childish and think, yeah. oh, I agree with him on nine out of ten things, but that one thing's annoyed me. I don't like him. Um, I'm someone that, like, I take all opinions and that. So I'd rather not give my political opinions. If, if people want to see the sort of stuff, they've got to follow me at SXPR on Twitter. I think nowadays, like, the political landscape is, like, quite bad. Cause, like, toxic. You know, you don't agree with some, someone and they're the... Worst yeah. person on earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wanna, wanna like it's become very tribal, so it's like it's like sort of a Tottenham Arsenal um, rivalry. Yeah. You're either sort of left or you're on the right. A lot of the things that I believe in are sort of centre to right, yeah. but there are things on the left. And during COVID, I got a lot of sort of fans and followings from my you know my fighting for people, the average person on the yeah. street, the average worker. You know, again, some people agree with with a lot of what I say, some people don't, but that's, that's life. But I, I believe I speak for quite a lot of people in this country. That, that, was, that was a very, uh, very good piece for me. Yeah. That was, I, I'm sure that's inspired a I few hope, people. I hope we come across all right, but follow me on Twitter, SXPR.
Any last thoughts from you for the, no, for the fans? I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping the fans take to me. Um, I'm going to come and give it my all. Kenny's got a fight on his hands. And maybe, you know, I'm, I might need a bit of luck. Who knows? But we, we've put in the work. And if I catch him with my right hand, he's in trouble. It's, it's quite a, almost a threat for me there. But uh, any, a message for Kenny, perhaps? Beware of the old man. Beware of the old man. That's a, a good note to end on, Adam. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. And I'll, I'll see you on Fight Week. See you then. All right, take okay. care. Is that all right? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to take a picture? Yeah, yeah.